Uh, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Tempest is here and today we are gonna be talking about fertilization process as a lot of you guys seem to be very confused about it and I myself to be honest very was very confused about it who could blame you with all these weird looking slurry tanks and um, all these different mods that are available to us there is always confusion and some of you asked me to explain how everything is done so today we're gonna talk about this confusing topic as well as take a look at a couple of amazing mods like this one for example Kaweko it's an amazing mod that fits perfect this class Xerian tractor which I showcased a couple of months ago I think so you could always find it in the mod playlist on my channel don't hesitate to do so so what do we need to do first how to fertilize it basically we won't be talking about simple ways of setting up your fertilization pro process like buying a sprayer or the spreader today we will be talking about fertilizing your field with the liquid or solid manure so the first thing you will be needing is your tractor and your slurry tank uh, basically i like to use the liquid slurry tanks as they are looking amazing although although they uh, they spend very fast they spend their liquid inside very fast so you gotta think about refilling it without going all the way back to the uh, cow's place although in this case our uh, cow's place is very very close so this is quite an expensive process in my opinion although it is worth to invest into because basically after you set up your cow feeding process uh, you get free manure and free uh, solid manure uh, liquid manure seems to be more interesting for me as we have bigger choice of uh, liquid tanks and um, they seem to be very very pleasing to me that's why I've decided to showcase it basically this one is Kaweco double twin shift uh, that has the capacity of 18,500 liters inside this one is another version of it that's been made specially for this structure and my in my opinion it looks incredible as you can see there are all sorts of things you can attach to it uh, it has the um, pipe in here that I think it should supposedly help you to refill the tractor uh, the damn it uh, the trailer even faster although I'm not quite sure so yeah you can attach the Zunhammer uh, cultivator behind it that will allow you to cultivate and fertilize it at the same time by the way uh, Kaweka double twin shift sprayer damn it, slurry tank uh, uh, has the 8 meter width spreader and uh, with uh, this attachment it gets uh, to 6 meter uh, but you, you get to cultivate it as well and it looks amazing so let's start with the basics by fertilizing your fields you get around I would say 50 to 70 percent increase in yield so it is very very recommended to fertilize your fields and by fertilizing your fields with the liquid manure which is free which comes free to you after you set up your uh, feeding process price of this particular mod is 100 euros so yes it is not very realistic i think they fixed it with the new patch it's been 1.5 the new version came out where it should be um, where it should cost you around 30,000 euros i would say and yeah let's start the tractor here we will we will showcase how everything is working let's go ahead and refill our class here uh, on its own it is very useless but in combination with the uh, other tank, that's the Karan that is able to refill it, this one, uh, it is very, very useful. So first thing you need to do is you need to fill this baby up. In case you have it, in case you don't have it, don't worry about it, don't sweat it, guys. Just, uh, you can go ahead and refill it near the cows, the normal ones, the spreaders itself. Of course, it will uh, take you longer and it could be more frustrating, but still, it is free. We head towards the tank itself let's park neatly there so it looks amazing and we park near it and we refill the slurry tanker just like so as you can see no not the other way oh my gosh yeah uh, they start overloading we need the overloading process not refilling process this is the way we refill our bigger tank bigger slurry tank and um, I found it to be uh, quite useful I think you can find even bigger uh, slurry tanks like this one but those are modded ones so 
So this is quite simple. You can also set up your course play. Uh, it will be automated and you won't have to think about it all the time. I also showed how this process is done in one of my course play tutorials. So make sure you check it out in case you've missed it. So now that our slurry tank is almost filled, we have to proceed with the uh, other tank. Let's just uh, let's just move a little bit with this one. And yeah, this uh, particular version version of Kaweco is the modded version of the same slurry tank that is able to fit any other tractor with the other attachment, as you can see. But practically, they are the same. They have the uh, same capacity. They do the same role. Yes, I'm using the modded version of the Puma here, which is more powerful and looks amazing. Let's just move it a little bit. I will include all the links in the description in case you are interested. Let's just quickly stop here and take a look at this tracker. So the main differences uh, between the normal Puma and this one, you'll find, of course, the color. This one is black, that one is red, and this one is looking so awesome. And uh, in general, it is more powerful. You also have this hand here, which is which is moving like that so it is cool as well in case you like these kind of things this is structure for you and I personally love this structure as well let's see what else do we have here I think this structure has the additional weights which you can toggle by pressing 9 let's just try and do that no toggle additional weights no what the hell 1700 or 0 or 850 kgs whatever you prefer all right, this is another slurry tank which I would love to show you guys. It is called Pozzini uh, Agriculture and um, it is very, very incredible mod, but it won't work. Interesting note about this particular mod is that whenever you attach it to the tractor, the PTO is automatically detached. So it will greet you with this annoying message of you must attach the BTO to turn on the implement. Basically, all you have to do is come here and press Q. That's it. It is attached to the tractor, it is powered up, and everything is working just fine. This pipe in here also um, will help you to transport, I mean the transport the liquid manure from one tank to another. Everything is quite simple. Another cool feature about this particular tank is that you can change the terminal here from the uh, rear one to the side one, just like so. So it is possible to fertilize the field from whatever direction you please. For example, you want to discharge it to the right or in case you want to discharge it to the left, just press 1, nope, 1, and it is going to look this way. How amazing is that? So yeah, I like this one as well, but but my favorite one is that one anyway. So the capacity of this one is 20,000 liters. It is a bit bigger and it's got the um, the width, the spread, spreader width uh, around 20 meters, uh, not 20, damn it, 10 meters, uh, which is slightly uh, bigger than the one over here. So basically, the only thing you need to do is press RB in order to refill your tank or any other sign button. As you can see, it started refilling. I believe that uh, by attaching this uh, pipe to the slurry tank, it will increase the refuel speed, or you could uh, just transport the liquid in between other slurry tanks as well that's how awesome it is and in case I manage to fold it in it's gonna be awesome all right that's it we are done so yeah after um, refilling this tank over here we get to fertilize our fields and let's say you are sowing uh, corn on one of your fields like I'm doing right now with my modded uh, class damn it the Puma and you've decided to fertilize it afterwards or not fertilize I mean you've decided to cultivate the ground before you, f uh, you start sowing your field yes of course you need to fertilize your field first that's why this particular uh, this particular mod is gonna help you out as well I believe there are other mods you can attach to the to this one and the cultivator behind it is absolutely uh, detachable and attachable and uh, let's try and hire a worker and see how well it's gonna work out for us. Yes, this is the way it works. It looks incredibly beautiful. I love it. As you can see, our ground started to change color. And uh, yeah, nothing special about it. But for some reason, it looks gorgeous. With this structure in particular, I'm loving it. After your field got cultivated, you can, of course, seed on top of it. 
and um, it is gonna be counted as if you fertilized your field just as simple as that the ground has to be fertilized uh, before you seed or, uh, I wouldn't recommend using your cultivator on already sown uh, crops otherwise you're gonna just simply destroy them so do uh, do this procedure right after you've harvested the field or or um, before you start sowing just like I'm doing it right now um, in case you've already sowed the field uh, the other option is gonna help you out let's go ahead and try sowing the other field over here here with the normal kawaka without any attachment basically the working width is gonna be bigger um, it is gonna become eight meters and this is the way it's gonna work let's hire a worker and see how well it's gonna work it unfolds automatically it's got an incredible suspension i love the wheels and everything and yeah that's the way it works it looks pretty pretty enough for my taste although uh, one disadvantage of using your slurry tanker is that it gets depleted like crazy and as you can see we are fertilizing just one lane here yeah one lane is being fertilized so and we are lacking 15 25 percent of the uh, total capacity of our tank here our slurry tank uh, basically what i recommend to do in this case is to set up your course play because this process gets quite frustrating or maybe you like uh, fertilizing your fields manually in this case you're gonna love it <laughs> doing it and refilling it all the time so yeah here everything is working great this is the way you refill the main tank on the field i think it is very useful to refill it especially if you set up course play because uh, this way you get to save your trip to the cow's place all the time all right let's quickly test the bassini here or bossini and see how well it's gonna perform on the field and just compare them uh, side by side to the uh, to the kawek over there although this one is incredible I love it it is very versatile and stuff I still prefer the Kaweco it, it just looks a bit more pleasing to me I don't know it is personal choice let me know in the comments below which you like more do you like the uh, Bazzini more or do you like Kaweco although Bazzini looks so much bigger the capacity is just slightly bigger uh, it's, it is 20,000 liters but other than that everything is the same let's just fold this tube here I don't really oh my gosh just fold it fold it come on all right all righty it is looking great and i think that this structure is a bit too weak for the tanker like our bassini although we shall see let's hire a worker and see how well it is gonna work no we don't want to use the side offset here i want to set it to the um to the rear spread just like so and let's start uh, let's start the fertilizing process with Bosini and see how well it works just like so yeah as you can see the spread slightly bigger 10 meters I think is perfect sometimes for different fields uh, but personally personally I would give my thumbs up to the uh, Kaweco because it just looks much better and I like the whole suspension system I like the wheels I like the design and uh, overall overall this is very reliable mod in my opinion although the price is uh, sl slightly unrealistic you get to change it anytime you like in the mod section so yeah that's pretty much it i think i told you everything about fertilization process let me know in the comments below if uh, i missed something so yeah this one looks incredible i love it although it is fully depleted already and we are starting to lose our money because it is automatically replenished somehow magically and in case you don't want to do that in case you don't want a worker to spend your money just set up course play or do it manually and then yeah everything else is the same nothing magical here fertilization process is very simple once you figure everything out and other than that yeah i think i've covered everything let me know if i missed anything Thank you for watching this episode, ladies and gentlemen. And as usual, live like there is no tomorrow. Bye-bye.